For thousands of years, cave paintings have been a source of mystery and fascination. But now, researchers have finally solved the mystery of these ancient works of art. After analyzing the paintings found in caves around the world, they have determined that they were created by humans over 20,000 years ago. This discovery sheds a new light on the history of art and provides insight into the lives of our ancestors. At the very least, 20,000 years ago, humans living in Europe made significant cave paintings of animals that they coupled with unusual signs. Lines, dots, and symbols formed like a Y. These paintings were found in caves around Europe. According to the findings of a recent study, these traces, which are well known to researchers, might be related to the seasonal activity of prey animals. This would make the indications the first known writing in the history of humankind. Researchers have only started looking at the thousands of non-figurative or abstract traces that were left in Paleolithic caves in the last few decades. Despite the fact that Paleolithic cave art is best renowned for its ethereal handprints and elegant horses, a group of researchers has proposed in a study that was published on January 5th in the Cambridge Archaeological Journal that these seemingly abstract dots and lines, when positioned near animal imagery, actually represent a sophisticated writing system that explains early humans' understanding of the mating and birthing seasons of important local species. However, the interpretations of these human-made marks that were presented in the study have not been accepted by all other scholars. A paleoanthropologist at Portland State University named Melanie Chang told Life Science in an email that she agrees with the researcher's assessment that upper Paleolithic people have the cognitive capacity to write and to keep records of time. Chang was not involved in the study. She did, however, issue a word of caution, stating that the researchers' hypotheses are not well supported by the results, and they also did not address alternative interpretations of the markings that they investigated. What exactly do the scribbles on the wall signify? The first people to inhabit Europe were hunter-gatherers who consumed a significant amount of meat from animals such as horses, deer, and bison. When those herds of animals would have gotten together during certain times of the year, people would have had the opportunity to kill them. Bennett Bacon, an independent researcher and furniture conservator based in London, was the first author of the study. He and his colleagues wrote in the study that it follows that knowledge of the timing of migrations mating and birthing would be a central concern to upper Paleolithic behavior. The researchers found that none of the sequences contained more than 13 marks, which is in line with the fact that there are 13 lunar months in each year. This was determined by counting the total number of marks, which could be dots or lines that were discovered in sequences across hundreds of caves. They wrote in their paper, We hypothesize that sequences are conveying information about their associated animal taxa and units of months. They also mentioned that spring, with its obvious signals of the end of winter and corresponding faunal migrations to breeding grounds, would have provided an obvious, if regionally differing, point of origin for the lunar calendar. The statistical analysis that the researchers performed on more than 800 sequences of marks associated with animals lends credence to their theory. Specifically, the researchers discovered strong correlations between the number of marks and lunar months in which the particular species of animal is known to make. Taking the previous theory one step further, Bacon and his colleagues focused their attention on a sign in the shape of a Y that they believe represents a particular stage in the life cycle of an animal. Their conclusion that the positioning of the Y-shaped indication within a series of marks indicates the birthing season for a particular animal species is supported by statistical analysis that is similar in nature. According to what they said, the ability to assign abstract signs to happenings in the world was a great intellectual achievement. This ability allowed them to remember past events and make predictions about future events. Writing or the beginning stages of writing. But is this the earliest piece of writing that has been discovered? The argument is refuted by Bacon and his colleagues, who state that it's best described as a proto-writing system, which they define as an interim stage between a simpler notation or convention and full-blown writing. April Noel, a Paleolithic archaeologist at the University of Victoria in Canada, who was not involved in the study told Life Science in an email that any study that explores non-figurative signs in more detail is welcome. But I think there are a number of assumptions being made here that have yet to be proven. Noel expressed special concern with the Y symbol. According to what she claimed, the vast majority of animals studied in the study are quadrupeds, and it's normal for humans to squat during giving birth. If this sign is supposed to be symbolic of the process of giving birth, it is not evident to me, he said. The paleoanthropologist Chang, who is also an equestrian and horse owner, proposed two different alternatives to the traditional interpretation of the Y sign. It is possible that in certain instances, 
It represents the edge of the brachiocephalic muscle, which is an important landmark located on the horse's neck. In other cases, she said, it's possible that what they recorded as wise represent what modern horse people refer to as primitive markings, such as leg bars that are associated with wild-type horse colors, or they may represent hair patterns or other anatomical features. She went on to explain that primitive markings include leg bars that are associated with wild-type horse colors. Robert Kentridge, a professor in the Department of Psychology at Durham University in the United Kingdom, and one of the co-authors of the study told Life Science in an email that one of the strengths of their study is that they have formally tested Ben Bacon's hypothesis about the meaning of the Y position signs and sequences of marks and the lengths of sequence of dots and lines and shown that these do convey meaning. Indeed, meaning that would be important in the lives of Paleolithic people. In the summary of their findings, Bacon and his colleagues wrote that they have proposed the existence of a notational system associated with an unambiguous animal subject relating to biologically significant events, and that this enables them for the first time to understand a Paleolithic notational system in its entirety. However, approximately 10 years ago, Noel and Genevieve von Petzinger, who was a PhD student at the time, collaborated on the creation of a database that contains dozens of signs and repeated themes from over 200 caves in southern France and Spain. The purpose of von Petzinger's theses was to investigate the consistency of cave wall symbols over both time and space in order to gain a deeper comprehension of the significance of these markings to Ice Age people. Noel offered the following explanation. There are at least 32 different recurrent indicators. The authors have decided to focus their research on three of them in a very particular setting. Paul Petit, a professor of archaeology at Durham University and one of the study's co-authors, told Life Science in an email that it seemed rational to focus first on the most prevalent markings linked with figurative representations. The majority of diagrams consist of nothing more than a few lines and dots. The Y symbol is the one that is used the most frequently among the more complex signs. The researchers have plans to continue developing their study further. In an email, Bacon disclosed to Life Science that his team was analyzing other evidence. What we're seeking for, as opposed to determining the meaning of a particular science, are the linguistic and cognitive components to support the writing system. Norwell concurred with the authors of the study that the symbols were most likely not selected at random, and that it's possible that the lines and dots indicate numerical values. She pointed out that even if the writers are true, this still leaves 90% of the indicators without any recognized interpretation. Noel remarked that there's still a lot about graphic communication in the Paleolithic that we don't comprehend, and there's a lot that we do not grasp. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Be sure to check out our other videos for more great content. Until next time, take care.